Welcome to my uh, brief video on decorative corbels printed with uh, one of my 3D printers. Okay, um, all the decorative corbels you see in front of you, except for one, are printed hollow. You see here, there's nothing inside, as these are just samples of what the printer can do. Now, uh, it can be used for a range of things from uh, corner molding in your ceiling, to center molding, to just decorative bracketry, whether you want it, uh, you have some post work on your walls or your ceilings and you want something like this up just to uh, uh, accent a room, or you're, say you're building a kitchen island and you have a uh, a countertop that uh, hangs over the island a bit, you want a decorative uh, corbel underneath all around, this one would suit that purpose just fine. We also have themed corbels. Here's an angel corbel, very decorative. We have a horse. This is the only one of the group that's uh, not printed hollow but it's, it still only has 5% infill. Uh, it's not a support structure. If I were to print these with a much higher infill, then it would be, it could be a support structure. It could actually hold uh, a mild weight. But for the purpose of this video and these products, they're all decorative only. Um, we have a pattern corbel here. And these the sizes can range. They could be this small or smaller, or this could be printed even bigger. Um, another decorative corbel for your wall with a leaf pattern on the front. This one here has a grape pattern. And this little pedestal, which can be printed bigger, I have a printer that can print this much higher. Um, and if you put some infill on this, this could be a pedestal. You could print a nice decorative top for it. And there's a lot of grape and leaf work in this, as you can see. Uh, at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to show a time-lapse uh, print of most of these corbels here. Um, the hollow ones don't take very long to print, but if I were to print them with an infill, something like this would be around a 12-hour print. Um, one of the benefits of these is if I, were, if I were to go out and purchase a corbel of this size with this decorative detail in wood, it would cost me uh, a few hundred dollars, several hundred Canadian, a few hundred US. Um, but on my printer, for myself, for personal purposes, I could print it for just, uh, if I wanted to put a little bit of infill in it for maybe uh, eight eight to ten dollars in plastic. Uh, if you wanted to purchase one of these from me with the printer time involved and whatnot and depending on your settings and on the amount of infill you want the price could range anywhere from thirty to uh, fifty dollars which is still uh, far cheaper than actually having to purchase one of these in wood. And then if we got into a Corbell, a themed Corbell like the Angel and I wanted to print this this size you're looking at again several hundred dollars to purchase that uh, from a, a custom Corbell place online or if you go to your Home Depot they'll have uh, something a little more basic than this but for a, f for a few hundred dollars but I could print up something like this at this size right here with some infill in it so that there's a much better structure for probably maybe twenty five thirty dollars and we're looking at we would be looking at maybe eight hours of print time and then you'd have a nice decorative corbel. You can put it up under some shelving. I could even we could even design it so that it's hollow here, so if you get some bracketry that's holding your shelving up, the decorative corbel could just slide right over it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in my comments. If uh, this is something you're interested in, let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for the time lapse videos, and I hope you enjoy.
Again, the majority of these are hollow. They're just sample pieces only. <clears throat> 